Greetings, I am Herbert Erbaderp, and today I'm going to build the Flames of War BA-64 Armoured Car Platoon. These little 15mm scale armoured cars are for late war Soviet forces in the game Flames of War, in case the packaging didn't make that obvious. As the back of the box tells us, this is an all plastic kit that will make four BA-64 armoured cars. There's also an image of a painted model and instructions in the form of a simple exploded diagram. This is a very simple model and the diagram does show that, but if you would like some slightly more in-depth instructions, you can find that on the Flames of War website. I'll include a link in the description below. Or you could just watch the rest of this video. I mean, you're already here, so why not? Inside the box we find four small green sprues, some crew figures, unit cards, and most importantly, bubble wrap. Everyone likes bubble wrap. The crew figures aren't too bad looking, but they are that sort of soft resiny stuff. I'm not sure what it actually is. They look okay, and I do like that they are all different, rather than just having four identical gunners. The plastic sprues are small and simple, which really is to be expected with a vehicle like this in 15mm scale. The wheels are moulded into the hull side parts, and considering this, they're quite nicely detailed. Obviously this is a gaming piece, so it's not intended to be super detailed and at this size plenty of things would be omitted in order to make it a practical model to both mould and use in war games. That said, there is plenty of detail, though a BA-64 isn't really that complicated a vehicle to begin with. You can easily tell what the model represents, and that's pretty much what you want in a war gaming model. There's not a lot of parts here, but you do get a choice in gun, either a PTRD anti-tank rifle or a machine gun. These sprues are well made, which is what I would expect from modern Battlefront plastics. There should only be a minimum of cleanup, and everything should go together very easily. Watch to the end to find out if that's true. The kit comes with two of these unit cards, one for a regular BA-64 armoured car platoon, and one for an observation post. Sounds like it would be good for observing. Unfortunately there are no decals, and I'm led to believe that's the standard for Battlefront's kits now, which I've got to admit is a little bit disappointing. Oh well, let's get to the bit where I glue plastic together. I started by gluing the two halves of the lower hull together. This, as you can see, is very very easy. There's one bit of keying in the middle, and that's really all you need. A little pressure to make sure it stays together nice and neat, and that's that. In a move surprising maybe one or two people, NOBODY IS SURPRISED! Okay, nobody. I glue the upper hull part into place next. This did need a bit of clean up to get it to fit properly, and there isn't really any keying, but the shape of the thing is about all the guidance we really need anyway. I apply pressure to minimise the gaps as best I can, though it's not perfect, and some parts could do with a bit of putty later on. Also, the lower rear plate part doesn't look all that good but we can fix that with some putty later on. The spare wheel can then be glued into place on the rear of the hull like so. This is obviously very simple, though I wasn't totally sure I'd put this the right way up. I think I did, but maybe I didn't. Who knows? Anyway, that's the hull completed. Probably one of the quickest and most simple hulls I've ever built. Get ready for turret time. The turret is incredibly simple. Not quite as simple as if it were a single piece, this is two pieces. Well, three if you count the gunner figure. I guess it does count, doesn't it? All you've got to do is choose what kind of gun to arm your turret with, and then glue that part on. As you can see in this example, I've chosen the PTRD anti-tank rifle, so if this BA-64 is feeling especially brave, it might be able to hurt a tank. It's a very simple turret, but it looks the part and that's really what counts. I then install the gunner figures, mostly because the figures incorporate the rear portion of the gun. I did consider omitting them until I realised that fact. Anyway, this flexible material needs superglue to hold it in place, so that's what I used. It was a pretty tight fit getting the figures into place, and it doesn't quite line up with the plastic part of the gun perfectly, but it's good enough. You could do a little bit of filling if you really wanted though. You may also find you need to do some trimming to get the figure into place. At this point I've only built two of these, so there may be issues with the other two figures. Who knows? I will know in the future, but not right now. Then the turret goes onto the hull. This makes perfect sense if you think about it. 
If you wanted to be fancy, you could do some magnetization, but I didn't really feel like it with this kit, and I glued the turrets in place. You could do that or leave them loose if you want, it's up to you. The power is yours. Also, as you can see here, I built one of these with the machine gun turret as well. I would imagine this is the more common configuration of this vehicle. The other two cars, which I haven't built yet, will also be armed with machine guns. Anyway, that's the 15mm scale Flames of War Plastic BA64 completed, and I think it's a pretty nice little kit. It's a good representation of the BA64, and it should look great on the gaming table, especially once it's painted. I have no idea how effective these models are in Flames of War, but they do look cool, and I do like to give myself as many choices as I can when building an army, and that makes these a welcome addition to my Soviet force. I'm probably stating the obvious when I say this, but the kit was very quick and easy to put together. I would say the majority of time spent on this was cleaning up the sprue gates and mold lines, and those were pretty minor, so it wasn't exactly a whole lot of work. It might have been quick and easy, and that is usually one of the design goals for wargaming kits, to get something ready for the tabletop quickly, but it was also quite enjoyable. Sometimes something simple that just drops together, where you can see results almost immediately, is just what the doctor ordered. You're probably aware at this point that I do all of the building for these videos live on stream, and the stream in which I built this kit was a pretty fun one. If you would like to come hang out with myself and the good folks in chat while I glue bits of plastic together, there's a link to my Twitch channel in the description below. Give me a follow and come say hi next time I'm live. It'll be good times. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below. If you've built one of these or any other cool models and you want to share, why not stop by our Discord community and show some pictures? That would be rad. And if you've not done so already, why not subscribe, follow, ring the bell, become a patron to see videos early, or maybe just come say hi on Discord or Twitch when I'm live. Links to all of my things are in the description below, and as always, I shall return soon. So until then, be excellent to each other, and thanks for watching. Farewell.